call now. Former Director of National Intelligence James Piper is strongly denying allegations that Trump Tower communications were wiretapped or surveilled uh, during the election. Clapper, however, also denying under oath and in front of Congress the scope of the National Security Agency's mass surveillance of the American people several years ago. Listen to this exchange from 2013. Does the NSA collect any type of data at all on millions or hundreds of millions of Americans? No, sir. It does not. Not wittingly. There are cases where they could in inadvertently, perhaps, uh, collect, but not, not wittingly. But well, we learned better, didn't we? Joining me now is former senior NSA intelligence officer turned whistleblower, William Benny joins us. Uh, welcome back and good to see you. Uh, what do you make now of these charges on the part of the president we have just heard uh, two distinguished uh, uh, jurists, uh, and that is Judge uh, Napolitano and uh, uh, former Attorney General Judge uh, McCasey, said that you know they they believe uh, President Trump is right in his accusations against President Obama that he was uh, surveilling his administration was surveilling Donald Trump as a candidate uh, and in the White House. I mean, uh, your thoughts. Well, I, I think uh, uh, the president is absolutely right. His, his phone calls, everything he did electronically was, was being monitored. I mean, as we all are, I mean, it's this bulk collection of all U.S. citizens uh, <clears throat> in the country that NSA is collecting all the data and storing it. And then if they want to go after somebody, they can go specifically into that data and pull the data of that particular person out. And that's, I think, what's happened here. I mean evidence of the, uh, the conversation between the president of the U.S., uh, President Trump, and the president of, um, of uh, Australia and the president of Mexico. Releasing those conversations, those are collections that are uh, uh, picked up through the Fairview program primarily right. by NSA. Uh, and, you know, it, th that's where they have tap points all over the country collecting all the data off the fiber optic networks and the telephone network. So, uh, all the data is being stored by NSA. It's a question of whether or not they collect. And it's all being done, by the way, under Executive Order 12333 with no warrants whatsoever. Yeah, the, the idea of warrantless uh, 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 wiretaps being something people, I think many people, have the impression that that isn't happening at all in this country, when in fact it is the principal source of uh, surveillance, is it not? <clears throat> it is. It is for sure. I mean, that's the one... I mean, the 702 program and the uh, 215 program were simply programs out there for show, trying to show that the government is following the law and being uh, looked at and overseen by the Senate and House Intelligence Committee and the courts. But that's not the main collection program for NSA. It's under Executive Order 12333, they don't take warrants at all, and they just collect everything. And, and uh, I, I think many people are surprised to learn tonight uh, that uh, the President of the United States has access uh, to all of the FISA warrants and uh, collection of those uh, who had sought them and the disposition of them. Uh, I, I want to turn to something uh, else, though, that's happening contemporaneously, and that is the, the rising, uh, if you will, the uh, animation of the deep state here uh, and its relationship to the intelligence community and, of course, our political leadership, our constitutional government. Yeah, that's, uh, that's what really bothered me. That's why I, I had to leave NSA, because I couldn't be a part of what they're doing. It's really becoming the what, what I think of as the Praetorian Guard. The intelligence community is becoming the Praetorian Guard, determining who will be emperor and what the emperor will or will not do. And so they're, I think they're trying to influence them, uh, President Trump, and, uh, and trying to get them, uh, trying to get him to do what they want him to do. Now, I, I particularly think that uh, when President Trump said the intelligence community needs to be a revamped and re, re, redone, I agree with him totally. And in fact, I wish him luck in that process. And if I could help him in any way, I would. Well, I, I think he would appreciate the, the, the support and the help. Uh, it would be my guess. And, and the other part of this is uh, the suggestion that the DNI itself, uh, the, the Director of National Intelligence, has now become 
uh, a, a very negative force in the intelligence community, obstructing more often than facilitating, uh, too often uh, uh, guiding separate purposes rather than leading uh, for the president uh, in, in policy. Your thoughts as we wrap up here. Well, I just think the intelligence community has to begin, uh, has to review and reflect on what their purpose in life is and start to do and function as they are supposed to in a constitutional form of government. Well, I, I, well said, William Benny, and as always, good to, good to talk to you. Please come back soon. My guess is we're going to have a lot more questions for you as uh, all of this unfolds as it is sure to do. William Benny. Well, it's good to be with you, Lou. You yeah. bet. Thank you.